What's up guys, it's Jeff with 9to5Mac. I am setting up my iPhone 6s from scratch so that I can show you the passcode bypass flaw in iOS 9.3.1. Let me show you. Okay, so as I stated at the outset, I have reset this iPhone 6s back to factory default. So I'm going through the whole setup process again using Touch ID, uh, setting up Siri, all that jazz, because I wanna show you how this flaw works, this passcode bypass flaw in iOS 9.3.1, which is of course the latest version of iOS. All right, so first thing we wanna do is we wanna go into settings and just show you that I am running iOS 9.3.1. So there we go. All right, 9.3.1 is confirmed. All right, now what I also wanna do is I wanna go ahead and just take a photo because this passcode bypass flow allows you to access your photo library and view some of your photos. So of course, depending on what you have in your photo library, that could be a very bad thing. Obviously it's just a privacy breach in general. Uh, also, I'm gonna create a new contact because this passcode bypass flow allows you to access your contacts and view contacts without entering your passcode or verifying with Touch ID. All right, so first of all, I'm just going to lock my device and show you that indeed it is secure. So I'm going to, um, well, use the wrong finger for Touch ID, first of all, which is my pinky finger, which is not registered. All right, so I did not register my pinky finger. Obviously, I just registered one finger. Put in the wrong passcode, so the passcode is definitely enforced. And now I'm going to invoke Siri. Search Twitter. What would you like me to search for on Twitter? At sign yahoo.com. Checking Twitter. I found some tweets. So basically the whole point of this is just to search for a valid email address. I just happen to use Yahoo. Now you just 3D touch on an address that you find in a tweet and there you go. Now you can just tap create new contact and then tap add photo and then tap choose photo. And then Siri is going to ask for access to your photo library, but notice you did not verify your passcode whatsoever. You did not verify with Touch ID, but you can still accept just like that and get right into your photo library. Now, granted, this isn't full access, but it's enough so that you can actually view photos in here, um, which obviously isn't a good thing. Like you could go through and view these photos. You're not going to be able to do too much with them, um, but hey, just viewing them alone is to me, a breach of privacy. I think you would agree with that. And that's not where it stops. Let's try this again. Search Twitter. What would you like me to search for on Twitter? At sign yahoo.com. Okay, here are some tweets. All right, so this time I'm going to 3D touch and I'm going to choose add to existing contact and now I can view my contacts. And of course I only have one contact, but you can also add a photo from this view as well and choose photo. So really that's probably the best view to go into if you're about snooping around someone's device. But as you can see here, this is a security flaw um, and Apple will hopefully fix this and I'm sure they will in the very near future. Now. If you want to protect yourself in the meantime, what you can do is you can open up the settings app and then you can go to privacy here and then you can go to photos and then just disable Siri access to photos. The access we gave it earlier, just turn that off. But if you're really about securing things, you can just shut down Siri access altogether on the lock screen. So just go into touch ID and passcode and then turn off Siri there for the lock screen. So let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.